Hello and welcome back to the program. I am once again your host, Joe. We're gonna continue with Dragon Force here. My last we left off, I took this castle. The round hasn't even ended. Though we gotta be coming close. Put me up to 25. Estonia Castle has been attacked. What are they doing just naming a castle after an Eastern European country? I must kill you to save face. It is the way of the ninja. They don't appear to be that strong. <laughs> what a relief! Way of the ninja. Save face. Buddy, your face is covered. I don't know what to tell you. Sure, we'll send out Sliver. She's got mages. So hopefully... Hopefully I can pull this off. We've got even numbers, but uh... That many mages. I'll do the Disperse. Oh god, Sliver's only got three magic cards. I didn't even see what she knows how to do. But hopefully I won't have to see it. God, my kingdom for a ninja who knows Mirage Star. I will be forced to reconsider the wisdom of my decision here if she knows Holy Shield. And if she uses Holy Shield. But honestly, she probably just knows Fireball. Or maybe Thunderfall. Or she'll run away. That could happen too. Which means she's feeding me two awards. Finish her off, let's send out Slate. It's a good time. I shall be your judge. Oh, it's all over for you now. Bend over and sweetly kiss your posterior goodbye. Oh, I like that Moxie. She will not be deterred from telling me that I'm fucked. She certainly behaves like a member of Good Hair Squad. To victory, just one of you. Oh, she didn't use any magic points. I still don't know what sort of magic spells she knows. God, if she can just summon another army with resurrection, I might... Well, no, it won't be trouble, but it'll be something. I still love the reptile cannon. Frogs and ninjas. How depressing. The frogs and ninjas, that's just a fun combination. I don't know why they go together so well, but there you go. And she's being captured. Just going back there. God, that castle's gonna be a pain to deal with. Ooh. Is this gonna be trouble? Maybe. I only have so many dudes. Oh. Nope, that's not trouble at all. Uh, 
I should probably put Macau back to Samurai for this. And then have a look and see exactly what I'm going to be dealing with when I storm this castle. Mages? No troops. Dragons, mages, cavalry. Okay. So for the dragons, I use Macau, obviously. Uh, for the cavalry, I'll use Gongos, Terrace, Reinhardt, Archers, Mages. Did I teach you anything better? No, I didn't. That's... That's no good. You also don't know any better. Oh, fuck. I mean, mages and archers versus mages and archers is gonna break even, but, you know, whatever. Top up. Top up. God, what's going on over here? Oh! Junon, send him more dudes down. Ortega, that's the guy, I think. Yeah, he doesn't know a first attack. He's the useless lump. Okay, well, either way, we're good over there. We can handle this. We'll be fine. I'll just fend these guys off and then do the... My god, it's been three episodes and I haven't done a single fucking domestic affairs. Hagane, working on his tan. Zack, accidentally applied sunscreen only to the top of his face. Ten mages. Yeah, let's send out the monks. Oh, you know what? I didn't even need to do that. I could have sent somebody who hasn't fought. Oh well. Live and learn. Those awards probably would have come in handy for making Reinhardt and Terrace a little more useful. This is a real mismatch, because a lot of the time I like to bring in dudes who can at least target the enemy army. Livian only knows Aura Assault and the Cross Flash, neither of which do that. As stated previously, monks, not good for fighting an army. Pretty good for one-on-one, -on -one, though. Now she'll do, like, Wind Dancer or Dante's Inferno or something, I'm sure. Or she'll stand by while all of her dudes are murdered. That could happen too. Well, we cross flash, and then we just sort of let the fight play over the last. She gonna retreat? Nope, she's going down. Okay, that works. Now the problem with all of the quarantine stuff right now is that, um, zero troops, oh my god. Who wants an easy win? Neil! Go get him! He's level 4. Let's see if we can get him level 5. Uh, yeah, the thing with quarantine right now. I mentioned in the last couple of episodes, uh, Retro Crush. Um, I don't know how quickly I'm gonna run out of shit to watch on there, it's the thing. So I'm, like, cycling between watching YouTube, and watching Netflix, and watching this. Because, you know, background noise. You'll love it. And we're in the kill position. Arrow in the face.
his attack does much more damage than mine. God, this suspects. Wait, does his attack do more damage than mine? I honestly don't know. He'll probably get away. He's got enough health. Yeah, he got away. And Hagane, you have monks. So, uh, let's send. Let me check what these guys got. Assassin Star, Cross Flash, Assassin Star, Reptile Cannon. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, God, did Zid did Zatai fight? I honestly don't remember. Does Sliver know Reptile Cannon? Sliver knows Reptile Cannon. I'm pretty sure Sliver fought. Oh, I would love for Sliver to get an award, though. Or, another level. I'm putting Sliver in the fight. His third level ability should be uh, Mirage Star. I hope. It's a good damn move. hit him with the Assassin's Star and stop him from using his Aura Assault, but I don't really care about Aura Assault, so I'm gonna hit him with the Reptile Cannon. Go, Froggy, go! Copper, Buckner, and Garcia. God, so there was... A, there was a group back in, like, I want to say the early 80s, late 70s, maybe, called Buckner and Garcia. And they released an album that was all music based off of arcade games. And it's as bad as it sounds. It's campy as hell. I mean, they achieved some success because, you know, obviously people... The video game crowd was not quite as big as it was uh, as it is now. Although arcade enthusiasts were bananas. Um, I've listened to the album. A lot of it's... Nah, but I genuinely enjoy the tune Go Froggy Go. No, the song's called Froggy's Lament. The chorus says Go Froggy Go. You gotta keep on hop until you get to the top. Alright, who got away? Is it just Zack? It's just Zack. Okay, I can go get him. Tell me Sliver leveled up, please. Yeah, check it out on YouTube. Sliver did not level up. That's just rude. Uh, who can I send out with her? Because I don't trust her to be able to just deal with this. Yeah, oh my god. I captured Vlad, and I still haven't had a chance to talk to him, because this round is taking forever. I want to avoid fighting, but that doesn't seem possible. She knows Thunderfall. Alright. She can do it. God, she's got no health, though. Let's fight with some real weapons. I, I brought a stick, buddy. I, I don't know what you're expecting, but I brought a stick. Glad he's willing to commit. And the fun thing is, is that even if her soldiers end up, you know, doing badly and dying, uh, it won't make that big of a difference because she can just bring them back to life. There we go. I got him. 
I was trying to lock into the kill formation. And Zack has been captured. Thank you, Fandaria, for sending me all of your dudes. My god, though. The loss is suffered on my side. Uh, how's this castle looking, though? Five dudes! Why does Scythe still have no soldiers? That's just weird. Domestic affairs beckon. We're good now. Let's talk to Vlad. Well, king of human beings, what will you do with me? If you detest creatures of darkness, kill me now. No, I won't take your life needlessly, buddy. What? Your eyes are free of deceit and hate. You don't seek to kill innocent humans. But it is humans who try to kill all monsters, regardless. They only fear what is different from them. And so, I see in you the capacity for good. I ask then, will you aid my quest for justice? Bleh! Since I've met you, this has come to mind. Not all monsters are enemies of humankind. Nor should all humans be the enemies of monsters. Monsters and humans are both living and thinking creatures. And either who desire peace should be allowed it. If so, it doesn't matter if we're human or monsters. And I would gladly welcome your company. Monsters as friends! You have... Strange opinions for a human. I like that. Very well, I'll help you. Together we may be able to find peace for this continent, but I have one request. Request? I am chasing an old enemy called Raiskim. If we meet Raiskim, then let me fight. A very important item was stolen from me by him. I must retrieve it. I see. You have my word. If we meet him, you shall be allowed to fight. Are you the leader of Izumo? Yes, I am Mikal. I have a favor to ask you. If you let me kill Scythe, I'll fight for you. But if you can't do that, put me back in my prison cell. Please, it's a small favor. Scythe is an advisor to Fandaria, isn't she? Why are you so particular about Scythe, lad? Now that woman is fearfully strong. If she isn't killed soon, she will be a much bigger problem. Scythe is just an advisor or shaman, isn't she? You are far too easily fooled by what you see. Keep thinking of her as a human mortal, and you'll never be able to defeat her. You're saying she's not human? She is usually disguised as a human. You don't have to believe me. I've seen... I've seen her, though. How is it you know such a thing? A long time back, I was with a band of thieves. We got worried there was a rich woman passing through. They said she was packing a load of valuables. Well, we attacked her, but it all went wrong fast. The woman was Scythe, and she was waiting for us. She was the one that spread the rumor in the first place. Is she waiting for you? Yes, do you hear what I'm saying? We were ambushed. It was all for the hunt. She hunted us just for the sport of it. Because of the incredible number of beasts she called, we were overwhelmed. All were killed except myself. The unholy terror I encountered that day comes back to haunt me every night in my dreams. My company was running away, screaming, out of their minds. But there was nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. My comrades dried, shrieking on the, as the fiends feasted on them. And Scythe laughed as she watched them writhe in pain. Her figure became no longer that of a human being, but rather, some kind of hideous ghoul. That is a terrifying tale. A Lord Macal, as we suspected, the Fandaria Empire is... Yes, they are working to benefit Madrock's revival. No matter what kind of fiend Scythe is, I'll fight her. Next time we meet, and there will be a next time, I'll take my revenge for my friends or die trying. Until that time, my life is yours. Alright. When the time comes, I will not stop you. But don't rush in blinded by your anger. Train hard. Uh, Mikal, you literally don't need any more awards for these guys. You're up to 70 on all of them, that's fine. Golem and Zagat, and Jackal, or Jakal, and Mistel, or Mistel. No, Presto, or Presto, Rygar. Baghead, 
Militia, Sliver, Ripf, Ardor, Lane, Garudius, Neil, Slate, Livian, Coolian. I did a lot of fights. Let's save. That was a lot of fighting there. History book revised. By reading it, I have made it happen. Let's do the domestic affairs. First, let's talk to the captives. Hey, Barrett. Do you want to join my team? Yes. Aaron. We're putting together good hair squad. Yeah, okay. Gyrus, you won't join Gator. You want in? Okay. Gekai, you want in? No. I would sooner kill myself than follow you, pig. What the? He was so polite when we fought. What happened? Gunner still will never join me. My ears are closed. Oh, better get a doctor to look at that. He sounds like he's got an ear infection. Killerine? Okay. Ah, uh, Lyria, you won't join. Marina! Let's go boating. Malene? Good hair squad. <laughs> Lyria? I heard you're putting together good hair squad. I'm in, right? Uh, right, Nivkal was a member of Lane's soldiers. Okay, I'll help you, but my price isn't cheap. Well, we don't pay well, so fuck off. Ruix has joined my team. Saharazad. I'll talk, I'll talk! Ugh. Oh, what was the question? Welcome aboard, old man with best dialogue. Okay. How are my generals doing? How are the generals doing that I care about? Ardo is doing well? Don't make the mistake of underestimating me. Fuck you, Bastion. Uh, Aaron, you just joined. You're fine. Gig, how you doing? Don't make a fool out of me. Eh. Uh, okay. Except for the constant screaming and warring, all is calm in your kingdom. But you know what? I'm glad he's happy. All is good. Har har har. I usually manage to stay calm even in pressing situations. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's distribute some awards. Terrace, what do you know how to use for soldiers? Oh, Vlad, what do you, uh... You had 70 zombie troops before. I am grateful. Still grateful! God, I should've given him... I should've given him monks. I don't know. Terrace. You got all these archers. Archers aren't good. Have some cavalry. She will be a little less than useful when we decide to move in and deal with the uh, Leon. But when we move in to deal with Junon, I'll give her her archers back. That'll be good. And then we gotta do the same for Reinhardt. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Much appreciated. Luckily, I have over 20 awards left to give out. I know that narratively it makes more sense for me to deal with Fandaria last, but I don't care. I do not care. That sounds fun. 
All right, let's do the searching now. Duran, what do you find? Let me see. No, nothing. Do I need to like move my searchers around? Is there just nothing to find in Pale Moon? Virtuous runes have been uncovered. Oh, there is stuff to find in Pale Moon. And virtuous runes are a damn good thing to find. Oh yes, Scythe! Astia's Herb. Oh, that's useful. Astia's Herb lets you, uh... If somebody gets, like, beat up badly in combat... I couldn't find a blessed thing? If somebody gets beat up badly in combat and they're injured, you can use the Astia's Herb to bring them right back. I can only search at night! Bleh! Can it be? I thought you were someone else. Well, what do you expect? He can only search at night. Seagull, what do you find? Nothing like this, we failed. Oh, this is not good. Searching. We better start looking. There's nothing here. Sophie, what will you find? Your Highness, nothing. I'm also useless. Stalwart Castle? Hey, Aaron can search. What the heck? Good Hair Squad is cleverer than I thought. Nothing. Ah, at last. What? Oh, it's just the castle janitor. Okay, that's fun. Oh, dude, I have more searching to do. Go back. I still have to look in the mint. I have so many dudes here. What have we here? Honor coin. Sure. I think that I think that might be the command coin. Don't quote me on that. Astia be praised, flying crest. By Vectron's kindly claw. Say, aren't you? Oh, sorry. I'm looking for someone important. I don't even think Kumon's trying. Oh, Piffle. I am sorry. I think I did move a bunch of my searches out of here, actually. Sensei, I'm sorry, but nothing. This castle is supposed to be the mint. Find me coins! Or at least pictures of Spider Man. I am shaking my head. One more castle. But it's Lone and Ogred. What do the Flash Knights turn up? Nothing. Nope. I'm sorry. There's nothing. Guys? That's not what we like to hear. Okay, who, who could make good use of uh, Virtuous Runes? That will make Bartle able to search. I'll give it to him. Plus, he's a magician, so that sort of thing seems useful. Bartle, what will you find in the castle that Lane could not find anything in? Now that you have 70 intelligence, jump and catfish, that's a sorry set. Now I'm curious, they clearly have written custom, like, I couldn't find shit text for people. So, like... What about people you just... it's impractical to make able to search. People with such low intelligence. Yeah, Scar needs awards. 60 will do, though. 
Alright. That seems like a good place to leave off. I'll just update the book. History book revised. Good stuff. Thank you for tuning in. I have once again been your host, Joe, and I'll see you next time.